This rock in the south of Spain is a very special piece of land. It is actually not part of Spain, but a British overseas territory. Despite its size of less than 7 square kilometers, it boasts many attractions due to its rich history. This makes a visit to this land a true experience. Welcome to Gibraltar. The fastest way to visit Gibraltar is by crossing the border on foot or by bicycle, thus avoiding long lines of cars at the border crossing. This also gives you the unique experience of walking across the active airport's runway. At the end of the runway stands the Cradle of History Monument, which refers to the long history of this land that still lives on. Gibraltar is indeed one of the most contested places in Europe, as evidenced by the numerous defensive works found both in the city and in the rock. Upon entering the city, you immediately find yourself in British territory. English is predominantly spoken, and even the street furniture is reminiscent of that in England. From the old center, you can embark on the climb of the Rock of Gibraltar. There are various ways to visit the rock, I decided to do the climb on foot to see as much as possible. After entering from the north side, you'll immediately encounter the Moorish castle, which towers above the city. This castle served as a defensive fortress and provided a strategic view over the bay and the Strait of Gibraltar. Built in the 8th century by the Moorish rulers, the castle is accessible, and the climb to the top of the tower offers a splendid view of the city. During World War II, Gibraltar also played a crucial strategic role as a British overseas territory and military base in the Mediterranean Sea. Several tunnels were constructed within the Rock of Gibraltar, serving as shelters, storage spaces, and command posts for British armed forces. Throughout the war, these tunnels were continuously expanded and reinforced to meet military needs. A small portion of these tunnels is open to visitors, walking through this underground network provides an insight into the immense scale of the tunnel system within the rock. It is estimated that approximately 55 kilometers of tunnel are present in the rock, making the tunnel system nearly twice the size of Gibraltar's road network. The tunnels from World War II were connected to older tunnels dating back to the 18th century, known as the Great Siege Tunnels. Constructed during the Siege of Gibraltar by British troops between 1779 and 1783, these tunnels are situated on the north side of the rock. By creating openings in the rock wall for ventilation, it was realized that these openings were ideal positions for cannons. Various chambers within the tunnels house cannons, the largest space, St. George's Hall, accommodates seven cannons. Observing the rock from the airport, you can see the gun ports along the rock walls. Not only does the rich history make Gibraltar special, but also the many Barbary macaques that can be found there. This is indeed the only place where wild monkeys can be found in Europe. It is unclear whether the monkeys came here naturally or were brought by humans. However, it is known that they were already present during the Moorish era. Legend has it that as long as monkeys inhabit the rock, Gibraltar will remain under British control. In the middle of the rock lies the skywalk, a glass platform hovering above the edge of the cliff. The view from this spot, encompassing both the rock and the surrounding sea, is one of the most beautiful vistas of Gibraltar. Due to its proximity to the cable car, a visit to it is possible for almost everyone.
the military activities were not only limited to the tunnels. Various military installations can also be found at the top of the mountain. On the southern part, you will find O'Hara's Battery, which was built in the 19th century. At this location, several cannons are situated, primarily installed to defend the eastern flank of Gibraltar. As a visitor, you can explore one of the cannons from inside, and also the machine rooms and tunnels are accessible. This location offers a magnificent view of the rock and the coastline of Spain. From this point, you can continue your journey via the Mediterranean Steps, a walking route constructed by the British Army as part of access to various defense posts. The steep route of approximately 1.5 kilometers takes you from the top to the southern entrance at Jews Gate. About 150 caves have been found in the Rock of Gibraltar, the most famous and visited is St. Michael's Cave. This large stalactite cave provides a wonderful experience, with the largest chamber, the Cathedral Cave, serving as an auditorium. Various light shows are held during opening hours, making the visit extra special. Archaeological findings suggest that the cave may have been inhabited as far back as prehistory. During the Second World War, the cave was set up as a military emergency hospital, although it was never used as such. After visiting all these remarkable places, there are obviously many more notable locations to explore, such as the Windsor Suspension Bridge. A large bridge spanning 71 meters which was built in 2016. The Ape's Den, where you can find most of the monkeys, also offers a stunning viewpoint over the city. Additionally, the Devil's Gap Battery, where you can admire the old cannons up close, is worth a visit. To visit Gibraltar, you should allocate at least a full day, not only the Upper Rock Natural Reserve but also the town itself are absolute must-sees when visiting southern Spain. Gibraltar has certainly pleasantly surprised me with what it has to offer. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video and it has also persuaded you to visit this special piece of land. Thanks for watching and see you soon.